Well, we did a lot of costume trading earlier. Hey, everybody! I proudly stand before you completely ungangstered for the first time tonight. <laughs> One guy. Okay, I'll take, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. How are you? Mm. Who was here a couple of weeks ago with Set the Wayback Machine and uh, you remember that Foley took the stage. Does anyone remember that? She had a, she had a cold yeah. and she sang a song about having a cold. And I'm not saying that she was sick, but she seemed to be the harbinger of the snot apocalypse. Because every single person I know has caught in the plague since that moment. And as of last... <laughs> as of... Sorry. It was. Unfortunately, I'm on stage, so I get to swallow. <sighs> yeah, I know. But as of, as of last week, I succumbed to the plague as well. I'm feeling better. I'm on the mend now, mostly. Um, but I'm, I'm still a little wobbly, and I know a lot of us are too. So first of all, thank you for not sharing the plague, because if you do, uh, you end up feeling like this. And um, it, it led me to being laid up for a couple of days. And while I was, I just... I sat around reading because I was kind of spaced out of my mind and I was reading old clown journals and notes and I read something that I loved and I wanted to share here because this place is kind of a workshop and it seems like the right place for it. It said that a clown is a goldfish. Now what do we know about goldfish? Anyone? Short lifespan. Short lifespan. Thank you. <laughs> that was, what do you know about clowns? They're going to die before the end of the evening. <laughs> no. They don't. I want I really want like a news button right here that says like when improv goes horribly wrong. Yeah. Uh, actually the specific one is their short term memory is about that long. And um, so their universe is sort of right now and that's the idea of being a clown is to be in the moment. When you're when you're trying to be a performer of any type, you're trying to be very much you're supposed to be right here. Here I am, here we are, here we are together, yay. The problem is there's all this stuff that creeps in like snot. See how I connect them back together. Yeah, it's like it, it, it oozes in. Pardon, I'm it's a terrible, it's a terrible, it's a terrible analogy, but it, it oozes in and it gets in the way of the, the creative, I, I don't want to say juices, but <laughs> there we are. Uh, it gets in the way of the process and it keeps us from doing anything. So the goal is to be a goldfish. None of that stuff when we're working exists because it's not in the little tiny fishbowl with us. If it's not in the fishbowl, it doesn't exist. You got a tax problem that happens out there. You got, a, you got a guy problem or a girl problem. It's all out there. We're in the moment. Now, that's, that's all theory. How do you put this into practice? I found the wrong way. Yay. I had a performance this weekend with someone else who's not here because he's feeling a little under the weather, Scott Rankis. And um, we, uh, we had to go do a, a performance. We were both well enough to do the performance in that we were not contagious and plague zombies. But uh, unfortunately, neither of us were feeling our aces. And I finally said, all right, I'm going to take the cold medicine. And I went, hey, I feel better. I feel pretty good. And then I stood up. And I found out I was like a balloon on a stick. <laughs> we, and I went to do the gig because I had no choice. They're going to see this video now that the gig is over and go, oh. <laughs> so I go to the gig. And Scott has decided for his bit he's going to be very helpful. And he's like, I'm very helpful. And he says, hello. And he's British. And he says, hello. You should go this way. And I said, oh, I'm like, okay. And I'm, I'm the idiot clown like I often am. And he goes, watch it. And I look at him. And he says, the crack in the ground, you don't want to trip. And I'm carrying a suitcase with me, so I stop. And I pick up the suitcase carry it over the crack and I put it down and I thank him and he walks on and I boldly start walking another five feet and then I realize there's another crack in the sidewalk. Well, at this point I have forgotten that I am not a goldfish <laughs> and so I pick up the suitcase <laughs> and I carry it over and I put it down and I start walking in. I do this about oh I don't know eight times genuinely earnestly not realizing that I probably could just keep walking. I've just gotten into a rhythm now. Done. Done. Dun, 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 dun. And it's getting sort of absurd, and I'm drawing a crowd because people think a mental patient has gotten loose in, intro, in, in a costume shop and then landed in the, in the place we're performing. So they come over very carefully. Do you need some help? And I'm just like, cracks in the ground? 
And they, and they pick up the suitcase and they help me. And one of them, one of them puts his arm around me and says, it's going to be okay. And he steps me over the crack. And these kids take my hands and they lead me the rest of the way. And the next thing I know, I'm in my gig and I'm performing. And I have successfully connected to my audience. They think I'm brilliant. Now, I have three morals to this story. Number one, never, ever, 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 ever perform on cold meds. I'm sorry, this is one of those places I'm going to say drugs are bad. They were bad. Number two, do not spend time near sick clowns. It's just a rule. If a clown comes up to you and is sick, run. And number three, if you possibly can, whenever you're doing anything creative, be in the freaking moment because you're going to have some stupid epiphany, whether it's to step on every crack on the way or uh, just be very there or be kind of stupid, which my job is to play stupid, so that was easy. But you're going to have an epiphany if you're in the moment and you're not distracted by all the stuff that creeps in and you're going to have a much better time doing what you do. You guys like that idea? Let me show you the epitome of how it's done. It starts with a dramatic pose. The really cool thing is there's still a little bit of the cold man, so there's kind of a tracer. <laughs> it starts with a dramatic pose. We're good. And I look out into the distance, and I say, welcome to the open stage.